Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We've been talking a lot about it, but this morning we want to know if your family history has anything to do with whether or not you're susceptible to get the disease. Dr. Sujata Jetta is here this morning from the Austin Diagnostic Clinic. She is a family practitioner. Thank you so much for being here this Thank morning. You. Well, talk you. first about some of the risks of uh, breast cancer. The uh, main risk factors for breast cancer is getting older. Aging is one of the mo uh, most known breast cancer risk factors. Other than that, your family history plays a major role. Also, your lifestyle, if you're overweight, if you consume too much alcohol, or um, if you're taking certain kinds of medications, like hormone replacement therapy or birth control pills, if you take it for prolonged time, then your breast cancer history uh, risk increases. Also, if you have a history of breast cancer before, you're likely to get it again. Certain kinds of radiation can make you more prone for breast cancer. Really? That's very interesting. Talk about if you take uh, birth control or anything like that. How, what, what is the increase? What is the risk increase if you are and how long do you have to take it before you before it's dangerous for you. Right, so uh, particular birth control pills are the combination, estrogen and progesterone, and also the combined hormone replacement therapy can increase your chances of getting uh, breast cancer. The prolonged time you take, the more years you take, the risk increases. So for, for your personal risk, talk to your doctor and find out where you stand, because the other risk factors also matter. Talk about family history too. If you have a, a mother or grandmother or aunt that has had breast cancer, what is that? what kind of danger does that pose? for you? Uh, family history plays a major role in uh, figuring out your risk factor for breast cancer. The breast cancer um, uh, risk factor comes from your mother's side. So your first degree relative, um, for example, if there is a breast cancer in your mother, your daughter, or your grandmother on the mother's side, your chances increases a lot. Also, if you carry a particular gene in yourself, that also increases your breast cancer history a lot. How do you know? So like how, how soon should you start paying attention to that if you know you have the family history? So it depends on what age your family members have had breast cancer and then your risk increases depending on what age. If they were diagnosed earlier in their life, then it increases your risk of getting the breast cancer earlier. So there are many ways to find out if you're at risk and there are many screening ways to find out if you have breast cancer earlier. Main one of the uh, things is the mammogram. Mammogram is the x-ray of your breast. So um, if you are between age 35 to 40, you should have one baseline mammogram. After age 40, 40 till 74, it depends on your history again, but every one to two years, you should have a mammogram. The numbers are staggering. Um, in 2011 alone, there will be more than 230,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Yeah. Out of those, almost 40,000 will die of it. So it is important for you to get a mammogram and screening, know your history. The studies have shown if you get frequent and regular mammogram, your chances of dying from breast cancer are decreased. Wow. Well, if you like to make an appointment with Dr. Jeddah. There is her information. You can go to adclinic.com to make an appointment or call 901-4076. Thank you so much for being here. Great Thank information. You. Glad to be here. We appreciate that.